Taylor Swift is downsizing to one jet, one jet only. Do we have any video of Taylor, I wonder, uh, in, her, in her lovely jet? She had two, you see, but apparently she got a lot of heat or took a lot of heat from some college student that tracks these jets and how much they contribute to pollution in America. And he was really after her pretty hard saying, hey, you know what? You're the number one polluter. She was the number one polluter in 2022 because of her jet, because of her plane. Well, her two planes, I should say. So she's selling one private jet, maybe to kind of deal with this a little bit more. But the reason apparently that she actually is the world's biggest polluter has to do with her leasing of her jet. So she leases this out because it's actually a really great business model. It's a business model in and of itself. And then she's able to take depreciation. So her accountants get to work and they're like, okay, well, you get this little business. You lease out your jet and then we take the depreciation of the airplane and we add all that up. And basically before you know it, hey, the jet's like nearly free, right? The jet's like a whole other business onto itself. So instead of having two of them at work for her, she's now only going to have one so maybe that'll get this college kid off her tail. He's out of Florida and he's come up against it before. You know, he's going after the very powerful who say that they're all about the environment. And then they drive around or fly around, I should say, in their private jets. His name is Jack Sweeney. He's at the University of Central Florida. She's saying, hey, you've got to stop this. You've got to stop tracking me on my private jet. It's not that hard to track, though, because there's these websites and you have to put in certain tail numbers, et cetera, for your jet. So it's all kind of public information. But she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. He's very much into making sure that we preserve the environment. But the reality is this. If she flies to the Super Bowl from Tokyo, she's going to emit 19,000 miles worth of planet warming emissions in her journey. And so that's kind of a big deal for those that care about the climate. Her publicist is saying to the AP that she purchased more than double the carbon credits needed to offset all of that travel. There you go, the carbon credits business. That's a, you know, first you get the plane business, you can lease out your plane, you can take depreciation. Hey, that's quite a windfall. And then you got the carbon credits business. If you just offset by buying those carbon credits, well then Wall Street does well, you give back to the environment somehow, some way, and there's a whole new little industry that creeps up. Listen, it's just more hypocrisy. So kudos to the kid for calling it out. We may not agree with him on everything, but at least I think on this, he, 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 he's on to something. In other words, if you're going to sit there and tell us all about how much you care about the environment, then why are you driving around and you're flying around in your private jet? I mean, it reminds me of Carrie. Remember when Carrie told us, well, I have to take a private jet. Like, how else am I going to get anywhere? I have to collect my climate awards. Oh, Taylor has to get to the Super Bowl, you know. That's very important business. Very important business.